science is my passion. I received my PhD in medical oncology from the University of Oxford, United Kingdom. I then furthered my postdoctoral training at Karolinska Institute at Sweden before returning to serve University Science Malaysia as a lecturer. My interest lies in novel drug discovery for the treatment of cancer. These are our lifeline, the blood vessels. When stretched from one end to another, the vessels of the human circulatory system would measure approximately 97,000 kilometers. They carry blood throughout the body to deliver oxygen and nutrients to tissues and organs to maintain their functions. The growth of new blood vessels is known as angiogenesis. Angiogenesis is central to tumor growth. Cells in the core of a tumor with a volume greater than 2 mm cubic can trigger angiogenesis due to lack of oxygen and nutrients. Ultimately, this increases the supply of nutrients and oxygen to the tumor, thereby supporting tumor growth and progression. Angiogenesis can also promote the spread of tumor, a process known as metastasis. The formation of new blood vessels serve as passage for cancer cells separated from the tumor mass to travel to distant sites where the cancer cells lodge to form a new secondary tumor. Angiogenesis can also promote the spread of tumor, a process known as metastasis. The formation of new blood vessels serve as passage for cancer cells separated from the tumor mass to travel to distant sites where the cancer cells lodge to form a new secondary tumor. The concept of attacking tumors by cutting off the blood supply was first described in the early 1970s. Since then, much effort has been put into identifying and targeting the key pathways regulating angiogenesis. Angiogenesis can also promote the spread of tumor, a process known as metastasis. The formation of new blood vessels serve as passage for cancer cells separated from the tumor mass to travel to distant sites where the cancer cells lodge to form a new secondary tumor. The concept of attacking tumors by cutting off the blood supply was first described in the early 1970s. Since then, much effort has been put into identifying and targeting the key pathways regulating angiogenesis. Scientists are currently targeting angiogenesis to treat cancer. Tumors with receding vessels receive less nutrients. These will cause cancer cells to starve and eventually die. Hence, drugs targeting the vessels may be able to control the size of tumor as well as preventing the spread of tumor to other parts of the body. This is also beneficial for patients who may show resistance to chemotherapy and other conventional treatments. Therefore, there is a need to uncover novel vessel modulating agents. In this regard, our group uses synthetic compounds to block particular signaling pathways which are involved in mediating the formation of blood vessels in tumors. So twins are enzymes that are involved in cancer with implications in the regulation of blood vessel formation. We aim to establish our patent pending sirtuin inhibitor as a novel molecular targeted therapy in cancer. This will be achieved through three-dimensional cultures to allow mimicry of the native tissue, including the microenvironment for optimization of the drug candidate. We hope that this work opens a new avenue for development of a potential anti-angiogenic agent through sirtuin inhibition in